Greetings, watch watchers. Greg Hester here with the new show, Keep Watching with R2AWatches.com. Been on for several weeks now. We apologize for the delays this week. Uh, we had audio technical difficulties, which we think we have finally worked through. We have new equipment, and we're hoping that we're coming through a lot clearer for you in this show. Next week, we will be at our regular time, which is going to be now Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern and 6 o'clock Pacific. We moved it one hour that way so that we could get a little bit later for the folks on the Pacific Coast to maybe catch it when it's on Facebook Live. Also, that's the night that I'm typically on Larry Megan's show, All Good Things. So our show will kind of lead into his, um, and I can promote to what we're going to have on his show that week as well. Obviously, we're on Friday this week. Uh, we apologize for that delay, um, but that was because of these uh, glitches that we had that we're working through. We're trying to improve the show every week, and we appreciate those of you who've had the patience to stay with us every week and keep watching the show. Also, uh, next week, again, we're going to be on Talk About Watches. Um, their show. Um, we're going to be doing another show with Tim. I believe that'll be airing on Friday night. That's when Tim, I think, is going to start anchoring the Talk About Watches show. Um, and we're going to be talking about the new radio rooms and the new Expedition North Poles, which you've actually seen us cover here. But of course, when they're on Talk About Watches, there'll be some special deals that go with them that we wouldn't necessarily normally do on our own show. Today, we've got a lot to cover. And I'm actually really excited about every watch that we have to talk about today. Not that I'm ever unexcited about watches we have to talk about, but there's some really cool stuff today. First of all, for those of you who have been waiting for a real preview of the Berlin Wall watch from Pranzius, our own brand, we're going to be doing a preview today. It's going to be the last thing we do during this, uh, during this episode of Keep Watching, and I'm going to go through the watch. I'm going to explain the whole deal. We're calling it the Berlin Wall Signature Edition. We decided not to be any more cute than a name that just fits the watch. Um, we finally got the finished prototypes in, and we're excited to go through that watch, and that'll be the last thing today. The first thing we're going to cover today is just yesterday, we got the new Stingrays in from Stramansky. They are in this deep, rich blue color. It's the first time that Stramansky has done the watch in this color execution, and that's what I'm going to be going through first in just a minute. And then the second item we're going to cover today is going to be a new brand that we are talking with about possibly becoming their distributors uh, here in the United States. I am actually not going to be surprised to know that some of you guys watching this show are going to be familiar with this brand. It is Zelos, which means zeal in Greek. They make fantastic divers and other watches. I met the gentleman at um, Wind Up, which is the show in New York. It was two or three months ago. I looked at his watches. I really liked him. I asked him if he had any representation in the U.S., and he said no. We struck up a conversation, and so we are dipping our toe in the water with that brand, and I will make it very clear to you that you can dip a lot more than your toe in the water with the amazing divers that they're producing. Um, we've got very, very limited quantities. Um, we're just giving it a try to see if our uh, if our customers are going to be interested in picking it up and doing so through r2awatches.com. Without any further ado, let's move on to the Stingray from Stermansky. If you don't know Stermansky, Stermansky was the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin, and you're probably, probably wondering what the heck does that have to do with a dive watch. Stermansky is a true Russian brand. Of the brands that we represent here at r2awatches.com, uh, they really arguably the most Russian of the Russian brands that are still in our stable of watches. Obviously, Vostok Europe is uh, based in Lithuania. Uh, Sikolia is in uh, the Republic of Georgia. Uh, we have other brands from other places, but if you're looking for the real Russian item, it is Stramansky. Why the first watch in space has a dive watch is, well, there's also a history. Stramansky means navigator in Russian, and there is a rich history of the Stramansky watches also being watches for diving and for naval activity. Um, they still produce watches for the Russian Navy, and they are they do make great dive watches. This is the flagship of their dive line, uh, the, the Stingray. If you're not familiar with this watch, you definitely want to learn more about it. I'm not going to go through every single detail of the Stingray today while we're talking about it. Mostly, for those of you who are already familiar and who watched our shows from Basel, you knew that they were coming out with this really beautiful blue option in the Stingray. And it is just gorgeous. It has this amazing blue PVD. By the way, from my experience I'm learning now, blue PVD is pretty much the most expensive PVD you can do. Uh, it's really hard to get consistency in that color. Um, so you, you're, you're, it really is a more expensive PVD process with the blue. 
And with the offset of the Superluminova and the other uh, accent colors on here, it just makes for a great color combination. I'm going to quickly do a tour of the watch. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that today, but I just want to tell you the key things about it. It is a 30 ATM or 300 meter diver that puts it 10 ATM above a professional grade, which is 20 ATM. I, you could probably do that math on your own. Um, so this is a true professional grade uh, dive quality watch. It's a very thick watch. It's 48 millimeters. I'm going to try to, I've got the strap caught here, but I want to try to give you a little bit of a wrist look. I wanted to do that. People have been asking me, can you show wrist shots? Our second feed here on the live show is, um, is very tight up. So I don't, it, it's a tight, a tight shot, but you can get the idea. I have about a seven and a half inch, seven and three quarter roughly sized wrist. I don't have a big wrist. But you can see this doesn't overpower my wrist. It is a 48 millimeter. It's very comfortable uh, on the wrist. Let's see just how many times I can say wrist in one sentence. I also forgot to say earlier, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and like and subscribe. We're trying to build up our subscribers on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, either Facebook Live or on the replay, be sure and like our page, r2awatches.com. And if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, you definitely want to do that where you can get all the inside dope about our watches. So back to this watch. Uh, unidirectional rotating bezel that's on a sandwich encasement on the dial, which really makes for a fantastic look on this watch, which means that this top part bezel here, the top bezel there, doesn't move when you're rotating the bezel. Trying to do this upside down and backwards is always quite the challenge. Um, canteen crown, a little bit different than your typical Russian diver. They took the, the whole idea of it, so you get kind of the look and feel that you expect it to be in a Russian diver without having the crown down here, which makes it more comfortable on the wrist um, because it rides up a little higher on the case. And then you can see, I'm gonna remove the, remove the cover. You can see how it flips out, and then there's the crown. And fantastic loom on this. There's actually also loom on the crown cover. Great case, same case back as all of the Stingrays have with that Stingray image on the back. A couple of other quick things about it. It does come in this phenomenal packaging, uh, this, this Stingray looking packaging. I like to make it clear that it's not actual Stingray. Uh, that will make this packaging cost more than the watch. But it has the porthole where you can actually see the watch in the packaging. It comes with two straps, silicone and the leather that it comes on. And it comes with a, a nice little uh, strap changing tool. So these just came in. You're going to want to go to r2awatches.com and check them out. If you want to get more information about it, you'll want to sign up for our newsletter. Um, this is a phenomenal timepiece from Stramansky. I put it back in the right place. Oh, and one other thing. We have both executions. Now, right now we have very limited stock on this because actually Stramansky had limited stock on the first one that they picked up. You've got the cage version and you've got the non-cage version. It's important to note that that cage cannot be removed. So you got to make a decision from the beginning which execution, which style, which look you prefer. If you like the cage, which I do personally, but I know a lot of other people don't, then you would want to get that with the cage or you can get it without. And I want to get the dial on this. This on the, on the non-cage version, it is a sunray, which you can see there in the feed. It picks up the sunray on it. On the cage version, it's got these lines that run up and down the dial. I'll get this out of my way. And I'm going to try to catch it. There you go. And you can see the lines across the dial. It creates this really cool look. It's like kind of like a combination of sunray. And I don't know if you would call it guilloche or what you would really refer to that as but it's these really cool indentations that create a great light play on the dial. Okay, so I'm gonna move on. I could talk about the Stingray all day. I love this watch. I am definitely gonna own one of these in the blue. Um, it is just amazing looking in the blue. So, and as with all Stingrays, the quantities are very limited. You don't wanna hesitate. Now, first I'm gonna drink a little bit of water. And speaking of water, we're on to another dive watch. I was talking about it a little while ago. I mentioned to you, we're looking at, uh, it's Zelos is the name of the brand. Uh, that's Z-E-L-O-S. And it is a brand out of Singapore, actually. Uh, Elshin, the, the gentleman who runs the company, uh, owns the company. I told you I met him at Wind Up last year in New York. That's Warren and Wound's show 
in New York. Um, and he was there, came all the way over from Singapore for that show. And I saw his watches and I was just like, wow, I am really impressed with these watches. Um, I, I'm not going <laughs> to, I don't like to make comparisons between brands. So I'm going to try my best not to do that here. But I'm going to tell you, you guys know, if you've been following me for years, you know what we like. And you know, and I don't carry watches. I carry watches that I like. You know, I'm not, not necessarily every watch is my taste, but the first thing that I always look for when I'm looking for a brand that we're going to bring in or what I'm going to build for Pranzius is, was, is this a watch I would wear? And, and am I happy with the quality? Well, man, I got to tell you guys, I was blown away by this brand. And I'm really going to be surprised if some of you haven't already heard of it. If you're a member of the micro brand uh, group on Facebook, I know you've seen it there because a lot of guys have already picked them up and show them off there. Um, it is just a phenomenal timepiece. This is the Abyss Collection. Uh, um, Elshin has had, uh, he's done very successfully, launched his brand on Kickstarter. Uh, he's had six successful Kickstarter campaigns, and this was one of them, uh, the Abyss Collection. Right here, you've got the black with the subdial that looks like a propeller, which I really like that look. And then you've got the green, which has an internal rotating bezel. To give you a secondary time. The specs on this watch are off the charts. First of all, it's marine grade bronze and it's the same bronze that Vostok Europe uses. And again, I know I said I wasn't going to do comparisons, but it is the same bronze. And I will tell you that part of what caught my eye when I saw these watches at the table was the fact that he had several executions in bronze. I have come to love bronze as an alloy to build a watch in. Marine grade bronze, it just, I love the fact that it patinas. I love how it looks in the beginning. I love how it looks after the patina. I love how it, uh, the color uh, combinations that it creates. I love how durable it is. It's just a fantastic material. In fact, we are going to build a Pramzius in bronze at some point. So that's, that's coming. Um, so that was part of what appealed to me. And this is marine grade bronze. And it is the phosphor bronze, which gives you that really rich red color. And when it patinas, it's going to get even deeper and richer red. But here's the, the standout feature of this watch, guys. This is a 3,000 foot diver. Now, let me say that again. This is a 3,000 foot diver. Is it feet? No, meter. I said it wrong. I'm like saying feet, not meter. 3,000 meter, which makes it even more. I, I knew I was saying it wrong when I said feet. 3,000 meter diver. Okay, that means that this watch is, is, has a 300 ATM. Okay, three, good to 300 atmospheres. Now compare that to what is considered a professional grade dive watch. Professional grade dive watch is a 20 ATM watch. That, that's just, it's just unbelievable the difference. You're talking about 200 meter versus 3000 meter. Um, the deepest saturation dive that's ever been recorded and that's where you're using the, not scuba equipment, where there's this extra atmospheric equipment. I'm not a diver and I, I don't claim to be an expert here. The deepest saturation dive that's ever been done was about 2,300 feet. The deepest scuba dive that was ever done is about 1,200, 1,300 feet, which that just blows my mind in and of itself. So this watch is rated to have a greater water resistance and uh, superior uh, seals for more than any human has actually ever gone deep. So uh, it is it, it is about, a, you know, there are other, I know there are 5,000 meter watches out there, um, but this is just, this is off the charts in terms of what you're getting. And what goes into making that, it does have the, the healing and release valve if you, are, if you are doing saturation diving. Here's one aspect of this that just really blows my mind. This has a double domed, Sapphire crystal. I'm going to hold both executions up here. This is a double domed sapphire crystal. And what double dome means is it cur it's curved on the top and it's curved underneath and it's anti reflective as well. And that helps you to be able to see it from the side because of the fact that this is a seven millimeter thick sapphire crystal on this watch. Seven millimeters thick, guys. Most, the average watch, the average normal watch, if you take just like, say, a Seiko, basic Seiko watch, is 12 millimeters thick. This crystal is more than half the thickness of your typical watch. So that alone is just an amazing feature on this timepiece. 
Um, the, the crowns have five individual gaskets on each crown. The case back is, has a double O-ring system. Um, you know, so to achieve that level of water resistance is just, it's, it's off the charts. This is a 43 millimeter timepiece, so it's, it's not big. It's not, by today's standards, it's not a big timepiece, but it, it wears big because it's very thick, which gets back into what was required for it to have that level of water resistance. Um, some other things that are really cool about this, it comes in this really, really cool leather satchel type packaging. I've never seen any packaging quite like this before. Um, this is high grain leather, uh, where in, in that packaging, you're gonna find the watch, and it's going to be on a silicone strap, not surprisingly, with a dive watch of this caliber. And then there are two other straps. One is a Horween leather strap. And those of you who know the, the quality name of Horween, you're going to appreciate getting a Horween strap with this watch. And then there's also a leather-based strap with the nylon top. So you're getting two straps. I believe it comes with a changing tool as well, but I'm not look at this one. Hold on. Yeah, it gets two straps, a changing tool, and this really nice leather satchel that the watch comes with. Uh, unidirectional rotating bezel, of course, with a dive watch. It's 120 click. By the way, that's not easy to do, as I've talked about with other bronze watches. It's not easy to do well. The manufacturing process to get that as smooth and as tight as this is, bronze on bronze, is not the easiest to have that alloy to push against itself. In fact, that's why the case back is stainless and not bronze because if it were bronze after the patina process set in it could actually fuse together and you'd never be able to open it and again bronze is an alloy which that means it's two metals or more doped together in this case copper uh, and and it's the phosphor the phosphor bronze marine grade so we have in stock here literally only one each of, of these two watches we picked these up to be able to show them in the vid, and uh, we're making these available, and there's only the one each of these particular styles. They've been selling so fast, we weren't able to reserve any more of these two looks, and that's the green with the internal rotating bezel, and that's the black with the propeller subdial. We also have on hold for pre-order possibility the regular black and the regular blue, and you'll see both of them on r2awatches.com. For under $1,000, or right at $1,000, this is a tremendous amount of watch. And I didn't even mention, I forgot to mention, that this is a Swiss automatic movement. This has the Salita SW200, which is the 2824 clone. Fantastic movement, for those of you who know it. Um, expensive movement. And so you, you're getting a Swiss automatic movement in this watch. The, the features on this, the story behind this, these are just... I'm, you know, it's not that often these days, I've seen so many watches in my life now, it's not that often that I see a watch and I go, wow, you know, this was really well executed. And I, I, I definitely feel that way about this brand. And I hope you guys like it, because if you do, uh, we'll be bringing in more. So I think that's everything on the Zalos brand. And now, without further ado, the Berlin Wall Signature Edition, coming from Pramzius. In 2018, we are hoping to launch Kickstarter by March, and we're going to have them on R2A Watch. No, actually, I, I need to clarify that. This watch will first be on Pramzius.com, which is the site devoted only to our brand, Pramzius. Um, it'll first be on Pramzius.com, and that will be uh, hopefully by the second week of February. We're doing photography next week. Uh, we're putting together all of the copy and information about it, and we hope to get them listed and start taking pre-orders through this show and through our existing customer base, and then launch on Kickstarter by March. So what's this watch all about? First of all, if you don't know, we do have our own brand now. It's called Pramzius. That is named for the Baltic ruler of time, and it is uh, the Baltic region had a pantheon of gods just like the Greeks and the Romans and so forth. Um, they had one of thunder, they had one of love, and they had one of time, Pramzius. So that's where we picked this. We went through a lot of uh, ideas for the name for Pramzius, but we, uh, for the name of our brand and we were launching it. This is what we landed on because we like the idea that it's, it's a broader scope than just focusing, say, on Russia. Um, because we can pick our inspirations, or at least our plan is to have our inspirations come from one of the nine countries that touch the Baltic Sea. Uh, the first one was the Trans-Siberian Pocket Watch for the wrist. 
And then this obviously is related to Germany, which yes, actually does touch the Baltic Sea as well. Uh, this is the Berlin Wall Signature Edition. I've been teasing about this. I've shown a few pictures. If you watch TAW, you know that Tim and I did a preview show when I was in Scotland a couple of months back and, and talked about it. The main thing that's different between the final prototypes you're seeing here and the, um, the ones that you saw in previous pictures is we added a date function. Uh, when we were looking, we were using our uh, Pramzius Brain Trust, which, by the way, I want to give a shout out to all those guys, Abe, Rich, Martin, uh, everybody who's, and, and Christine, uh, Tim, everybody who gave us feedback and helped us to, uh, Courtney, to, to, to make decisions about how the watch was going to look. Because we went through several evolutions and iterations as we decided what we wanted to do with this watch. Okay. I've babbled on along enough without getting to what the whole point of this watch is. There are actual pieces of the Berlin Wall in the crown of this watch. Now, so that's why what you see here, this is the actual graffiti that's on the existing, the still existing parts of the wall, which is called the East Side Gallery. Um, and that we actually are giving a portion of the proceeds of, from this watch are going to be going to the East Side Gallery and we're using their art with permission. The... I wanted it, and there's a lot of DNA watches out there. I really wanted it where you could actually see what was in the watch and it not be one of those things where it's electroplated on the dial and there's a dusting or something. And you're kind of taking a trust us, it's their approach. And I'm not saying that other brands are not being honest about that in any way, shape, or form. But I like the fact that with the way we did it with the open crown, with the crystal where you can see through it, that you're actually going to see the pieces and they'll move around in there. By the way, they don't make any noise. Um, this watch has been years in the making. Uh, this is, to me, is really about nostalgia. This is about a part of our history that I would say that probably most of the folks who are fans of our watches are old enough to remember where they were, you know, when the Berlin Wall came down. Uh, you remember Reagan's speech, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. You remember what the euphoria we felt when, when, when the Cold War came to a close and when uh, East Germany and West Germany were reunited. And so this just has a, it has a personal meaning for me. I was in college. I was a student journalist at the time. And I remember just the feelings that we all had and, and what it meant to us as this was happening and watching it on television back when that was the only way you, you, you got visual news, um, you know, long before the internet, well, not long before, but before the internet. Um, and I, I think everybody, you know, what's been interesting to me is how many people, when I told them about this watch, actually were there or had a story of knowing somebody who was there. Um, it's kind of like you talk about Woodstock and everybody tells you that they were at Woodstock, but you know the old joke, if you remember being at Woodstock, then you couldn't have been there. Um, but anyway, uh, we're coming up on the 30th anniversary of the wall coming down next year, uh, 2019 will be the 30th anniversary. So this is just in time for that. Uh, and I, let me get back to some of the features of the watch and then I'll wrap up because there's going to be a lot more information coming out and I'm sure I'll do another show at some point. Um, but again, you've got actual pieces of the wall in the crown. This is going to come with a certificate of authenticity that these are actual peaches, pe peaches, <laughs> actual pieces of the Berlin wall. I don't think I could fit a peach in there. Um, a good friend of mine, his name is John Gabs. He's an Associated Press photographer. He, he's a former Associated Press photographer. He's actually a Hollywood screenwriter now. But he was there when the wall came down, and he actually was the Associated Press photographer on site at the Berlin Wall. Um, you will recognize his photography. Uh, a lot of his watches are some of the most watches. Everything in my life is a watch. A lot of his photo photos um, are some of the most iconic that were taken when the Berlin Wall came down. You will look at them, and you will recognize them. Um, so he's providing a certificate of authenticity uh, that it is an actual piece and it's the pieces that he picked up. In fact, here is it, here it is. This is the actual, well, one of the actual pieces of the wall. And yes, I sit down in our garage with a hammer and a chisel and a piece of plastic and I am personally chipping away every little piece of the Berlin wall that's going in these crowns. So you can't get any more hand assembled than that, guys. Um, Getting back to some of the other things about the watch, again, it does have the original graffiti that is actually still on what, they, what is called the East Side Gallery, which is a kilometer and a half of the standing portion of the wall that is there as a memoriam to the wall. 
and the a lot of the original graffiti artists who had put the, the, the graffiti on uh, the wall at the time. It's interesting, if you looked at the west side of the wall, they call this the east side gallery, but if you looked at the west side of the wall while it was still up in, in real time, it was all whitewashed and perfectly, uh, excuse me, the east side was all whitewashed and perfectly clean. All the graffiti, of course, was on the west side. Um, and this Berlin on here is from the east side gallery. We're using it with permission. Obviously, we flip-flopped the eight and the nine so it's 89 on the dial, where normally the 9 would be where you see the 8, and the 8 would be where you see the 9. I'm sure that was hard for you guys to figure out, uh, a complex thing about a watch. Um, so we flipped that so you, and, and enlarged it and had it look like it was uh, done in a graffiti style. So we're celebrating the year. The limited edition number is going to be no more than 1989 built. We are putting that on the side of the case. We did this pre-aged plate plating look to fit the fact that this is a nostalgia piece and we wanted it to look like a piece that you could have picked up in 1989 um, in terms of having a pre-aged look. You'll also notice there's a version that has the full color and it's the actual original Pantone colors of the graffiti on it on the dial. If you're not into the full color look, I'm going to have one like that. There's one where you can see there it's etched onto the dial and the dial, by the way, is actual marble. Um, this is not a faux marble, and the reason we call the we, reason we're using marble, everything about this watch, I tried my best to make sure everything about this watch was tied back to the story. The Brandenburg Gate, which is where Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, is marble. So we made the dial marble. We actually tried to make the dial look like concrete, and it basically just ended up looking about like what you would think it would look like, which was just a sandy, kind of crappy looking dial. Um, so then we started thinking about other inspirations and other things tied to the to the wall, and we thought about, oh, the Brandenburg Gate is marble. Could we get an actual real marble dial? So this is real marble. The nice thing about that is every watch will be unique because this is a natural material, so you're going to get different striations and different looks in every one of them. So if you like the full-blown uh, look of the, of the graffiti, you've got that option. If you want to have the watch but you're not into that colorful look, You've got it where it's etched on the dial. By the way, this is an automatic mechanical. It's got the NH35 in it. Um, and so you've got that workhorse movement of the NH35 from Seiko in, in the watch. Um, and we did this uh, we did this compass look, obviously, because directions were very important in this. You've got east and west. I want to make it clear this does not rotate. We're making no pretense this is an actual compass or anything like that. That's just uh, something to give it a look. Uh, and a feel. It's a part of the overall look and feel of the watch. Also, I want to point out that we know that there are some guys who like big watches and there are some guys who like more uh, traditionally sized watches. Uh, we're doing something a little unusual. I, I haven't really seen any other brands do this, um, at least on Kickstarter. Uh, we're doing a 42 millimeter and a 48. So if you like big watches, you got the 48, not oversized. We, did, we decided not to go with 50, but if you like the big watches, you got your 48. If you're somebody who's into more traditional sizes, you've got the 42, and we didn't want to go any lower than 42. We felt like both of these were a good compromise in sizes, and both executions have the 42 and the 48. So there you go, and you can see them side by side. Uh, there is a bracelet option, and that is also plated in the uh, pre pre-aged or pre well, pre-aged, I guess. I can't think of another word for it. Um, it just has that kind of pre-aged look. Um, and then there's also a leather strap option. And then there's a leather strap with a nylon. And we're going to have different packages depending upon what you pick up. There'll be a package where you can get everything. There'll be a package that uh, where you, you can get it just on the leather for less and, and so forth. Uh, speaking of packaging, the packaging on this is phenomenal. It's this leather, uh, leather bound uh, box that will hold up the four watches. Uh, it'll have places for the for the stri for the straps. And because this is a split lug watch, uh, you have to unscrew these lugs. So it's going to come with this screwdriver set to make it where we didn't have to have an individual screwdriver for each watch. The different sizes are on are on uh, are on each side of the screwdriver, and that's what you use to remove the lugs to change the strap out. That will also be in there. We're, we're going to be doing a book that's going to go along with it. I'm going to tell the story of how I knew John Gaps, how I got the original pieces of the wall, how this all came together. 
Uh, we're going to have uh, pictures of his of his art in there, of his photography in there. Uh, we actually commissioned some additional um, graffiti art from from a graffiti artist in Germany. We're going to have as a as an upsell or as a uh, what do they call them as a stretch goal or whatever these really cool hoodies. And we're going to be doing the beads by Gonzo. Uh, to come along with it. So there's going to be a whole lot of options. There's going to be a whole lot going on with this watch. So we hope you stay, you, you, you pay attention, stay here watching at, at Keep Watching and keep your eye out on Facebook. And then it's going to be on pranzius.com when the time comes to pre order. We will be doing this the same way we did the Trans Siberian. We'll be taking pre orders, we'll be doing Kickstarter. If we get to uh, the level that we need in order to uh, pay for the production, then the watch will be built. So we are super excited about this one. Um, like I said, this watch is literally like three or four years in the making. We've been talking about this, deciding how we wanted to do it, coming up with the ideas. Uh, it, you know, it took a while to, to work out the negotiations with the East Side Gallery to get the graffiti and so forth. Um, so we hope this one's going to be a hit. I will tell you, I really want this one to be made if for no other reason. Uh, I want one in my personal collection, and I know a lot of my friends uh, are really excited about this one. So, as I said, there was a lot to talk about today. We have the new, I'm going to just do a quick recap. We have the new blue Stingrays from Stramansky. We're trying out a new brand, Zilos, with their 3,000 meter, 3,000 meter divers, bronze, with marine grade bronze. And then a preview, not available yet. I know some people are going to ask, where do I order that? Where do I order that? Not available yet, but soon we will have these available for pre-order at Pramzius.com, the Berlin Wall Signature Edition. And until next week, Thursday, 10 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific, I'm Craig Hester, and keep watching.